Hey friends, welcome to another warm and beautiful day. It is absolutely gorgeous out here and uh, you can see all sorts of insects flying around, plants are growing, everything is green and beautiful in my backyard. And if we keep rotating around right behind me, you'll see my garden. Let's go over and take a closer look. There's something here I want to tell you a story about and it's uh it's these two pots right here. Now, if you look closely, this is actually a birch tree that my daughter planted last summer. And um, it was sort of like a stick until the end of this winter when it popped this giant branch out. It has all these beautiful leaves just soaking in that sunshine, right? Sunshine, water, carbon dioxide, making sugar, making food so it can continue to put out these beautiful leaves. But right next to it, it's a completely different tree. That's a black walnut right down there. Look at that. I want to tell you a story about these two trees and how we ended up with these two tiny trees in our garden this year. So let's check it out. So my friends, let's begin a little slideshow adventure into how this came to be. How did we end up with these two different trees? Well, take a look at this first photo. And you can see the birch tree, and this is maybe a week or two ago, so maybe it looks a little bit different. But I definitely think that walnut tree looks a lot different. Well, I didn't know it was a walnut tree yet. When it first came out, I thought it was something called a basil shoot, or some people call them root suckers. So that's not really that nice of a term, but a basil shoot is when a tree spawns off another tree from its base. Right at the base of the tree, it actually will spawn off another smaller tree. And you may see this sometimes. In fact, as you go walking around, look at the base of the tree. Sometimes they come out of the soil. Sometimes they'll come off the roots. And there's some trees that do this a lot. But generally, birch trees do not do this that young. Any tree doesn't really do it that young. This birch tree is less than a year old. But when we started to explore, and you look in this picture, you can see we've dug down a little and it gets thicker. And you would think if this was some kind of seedling that was planted in here by the wind or by mistake, it would get thinner and lead to a seed. But we dug down and we dug down. And as you can see in this photo, we definitely can see that it's getting thicker, which is why we are thinking it is one of those basal shoots. But as we dug down, once we got down about halfway into the container, we saw this. And do you recognize that thing that you can just sort of make out in the soil? How about now? Can you see that? Can you see that walnut? Yes. At some point in the autumn, some squirrely squirrel came dug down into my potted birch tree and left a little gift there, a walnut. And, you know, the squirrel was just leaving that for later. And you may find these in your yard, in your lawn, if you have any squirrels or walnut trees anywhere. And a lot of times those, those don't make it, but this container came inside and it was warm all winter. And the sun shone down on it and it got plenty of water, well, not a lot during the winter, but enough for it to grow in just a week or two ago, this popped out as a tiny little green spike that started to put out leaves. Now, you'll notice the leaves look a little bit different, but we dug down and dug down and very carefully dug around it, making sure not to destroy the roots. And we wanted to be careful of the birch tree's roots. And we wanted to be careful of this little mysterious visitor's roots. So it took a long time, a lot of digging, but the birch tree's roots were not penetrating the soil as much as I might have thought, and, well, the walnut one was. So we finally got it out safely without too much damage, and here's a view of that root. Now remember, the walnut was planted about halfway down in the pot. The root went down, down, all the way to the bottom of this pot, and it's a pretty good-sized pot. This thing is massive. Here's a picture of the whole thing there in my hand, and that is about the height of the pot right there. 
and it's a completely different tree. We realize that, oh my goodness, this is a black walnut tree. How cool is that? So here's a picture, a nice close up of that walnut. You can see all those roots coming out. And I wonder, do you remember from your root lessons, is this a tap root or is this a fasciculate or adventitious root? Take a look. And you know, you can look at that walnut too. How many pieces is that splitting up into? That can tell you. Is this is this monocotyledonous or dicotyledonous? Ooh, here's a whole view of that whole root now. Maybe that will make that a little bit easier for you. Take a look at that. And then here's a good view of taking a look at the top of, well, the growth of that tree. And you can see that whole whitish pinkish part was under the soil. It just started to come up as a little green spike at first. There's the whole thing. Look at that. Gorgeous. Uh, we didn't want to leave it out too long, so we put it in a pot right next to its friend. And, well, you saw that at the beginning of our story. So, you know, these images are now up and available on the drive for you to take a look at. And you can very clearly see the parts of this little, well, almost sapling at this point. So you're welcome to take that, draw it, label it. Uh, but you might also want to go and look at your seed experiments if you still have any. See if you can label the parts of the plant on that. The roots, the stem, the leaves. Go look in your garden at the different plants that are there and see if maybe you ended up with some special surprises too. Have fun, friends, and I'll see you again soon.